Sean, my brother, welcome to the table, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> yo, finally, yo. It's an honor to meet you, yo. Yeah, man. No, it's an honor, man. And thank you for giving us a call, man. What's on your heart, bro? Where, where you calling in from, Sean? I'm calling in from Atlanta. Atlanta, ATL. Cool, great. How old are you, bro? 33. It just turned 33 March 1st. Young brother. Young brother. I love it. And what's your average income um, yearly? Uh, the day job is 43, so I hustle... About fifteen, so a little over, a little about sixty, a little under sixty. Okay, cool, great, sixty k, not bad at all. All right, cool beans. Talk to me, man. What's your question? Uh, the question is, how do you manage time better? Um, mm. I am debt free. I, I got uh, about four thousand in savings right now. I had a little setback, you know, uh, some some dating and everything, but I'm getting that back right this year. God, Wait, you had a setback because of dating? It was bills and everything, so it was, a, it was a bunch of things. So it wasn't stewarding the time better. And that's why my question came in. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, bro, you mean oh, the nah. ladies? The ladies was getting you for the money on dating? No. Okay. No. All right. All right. I feel better no. now. I can calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you good. So yeah, that's the question about steward and time better. Um, and if you got any advice how to get that ten thousand is quicker, because that's my goal is to get to ten thousand before October. Um, All right. It was initially gonna go to the stock market, but I need to put it in savings first. No, hands down, hands down, hands down. Um, yeah. Because I, I think I agree with you. You gotta have a savings account. Do not invest because as soon as you invest, you lock it, right. and you don't want to take it out. That's penalties. That's interest. You gotta pay. Um, so the very first thing when it comes to time, I budget my time like I budget my money. I literally was just on a, our team call earlier with my team and I told Michelle, I was like, hey, Michelle, can you add these to my schedule? Like, I literally need to see everything on my schedule. I have drive time to the studio. I have drive time home, walk my dog. Like, I literally write down my entire day and I strategically map out my day. I could tell you, you know, I'm gonna be on a flight for three hours. When I land, if I have a call, I know it's gonna take me about 40 minutes to get through TSA. So, I mean, I literally do that. So that way I am I am stewarding my time better. And, and I learned that from actually millionaires. There are millionaires who are like, yo, if it's not on my if it's not on my schedule, if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't get done. So literally, if I know I gotta call my mom, like today is my niece's birthday. I need to call her today. It's on my schedule to call her on my ride home when I leave the studio today at four o'clock. So I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna call my little niece. Um, let's check this out. When I am in a relationship, important days, and even just phone calls, hey man, call your girl. Like I put call baby on my <laughs> calendar. In the morning, in the evening. So that way I hold myself accountable and I don't slip up, but I'm stewarding my time well. And it's gonna be so good to when I get married, we're gonna have my schedule, her schedule, bro, and stewarding our time on a refrigerator. So we know exactly what's going on, everyone. So if you really wanna to get to the 10,000, if you really wanna become wealthy, if you really wanna get better, right, better, time is important. Because time is the one thing we can't get back. We can get our money back. back. But yesterday is gone. We can't change what happened yesterday. We can't. So for me, I wanna steward my time the best way I can. So I map out my time every single day. And what I do is Sunday night after church, after I get up from my Sunday night nap, I look at, okay, what does my week look like? I, I We get haircuts, bro. <laughs> Straight up. I put that on my schedule. I literally go through the entire month and I'm like, yo, bro, Barbara, I go to I go through his little app thing and I book out all my haircuts for the entire month and I put it inside of my schedule. Because here's what I started noticing. I know I gotta do things, I started forgetting. Mm -hmm. And then it started I, oh shoot, I gotta go do this. Then then it's like, I'm all over the place. And then because I gotta go do this, because I forgot to put on my schedule, now I miss out on something else. No, 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 no. So that's what I would highly recommend to you, bro, is it's simple. Utilize your calendar to everyone and put it on there. If you, if, if you gotta feed, cook dinner, put cook dinner on your schedule. Yeah. It, and if you gotta, you know, I'm gonna work a side job. Boom, put that on your schedule. You gotta go to work. I'm at work from eight to five. Put that on your schedule. And I promise you, you'll see a huge change in that. 
And when it comes to getting the, the extra $10,000, bro, I think that that's going to be a little challenging because you're only making 60 a year. I think it's like it's going to it's just take dedication. I when I paid my debt off of 46,000, I went up to 30 okay. bar car cash. So, getting it back is not as difficult as it was getting it the first time. So, I mean, I would Well, you already got 4,000 in there, so you really only need 6,000. Yeah. And, and you want to have, have you want to have an extra 6,000 by October? Yeah, by October I want an extra 6. So, so what we have? What month in right? March, months. April, May, June, July. August, September, October. So we got eight months. So yeah, that shouldn't be hard. Six thousand divide that into eight. That's only seven hundred and fifty dollars, bro. Yeah. I think you can do that. Definitely can do that. Yeah. Definitely can do. That. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna stop you. Dating. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I've been I put it on pause. Yeah. <laughs> put it on That's pause. gonna I stop. Start, I didn't even start dating until I was after that. Well, let me let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. Cause I think I think I just said that wrong. Let me apologize. Dating the wrong one will stop you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you date the right one and say, hey, listen, my vision is I want $10,000 inside my savings account by the end of this year. I think that should be sexy as heck to a woman. <laughs> it should be. This man is trying to be a financially good steward with his own money. Right. And if a woman comes and says, well, you ain't got 10000 I don't. Do you? <laughs> right. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like right. if she come in and like, Ugh, I mean, I mean, we, we got to go to Ruby Tuesday. We got to go to Cheesecake Factory. We do. Let her go, bro. Let her go. Because the right one, when she gets married, she's going to sleep better because y'all got money in the savings account. You all are investing and you have no debt. I think, I'm not going to say that. No, no, nah, nah, bro, I don't want to say that. I just want to tell you, Sean, do not allow dating because when we see that beautiful woman who we want, we tend to put aside the priorities to impress that woman. And it, oftentimes we are overlooked. We, we are frowned upon by the woman because and they don't even understand it. Yo, I set aside things for you. And man, I'm telling you right now, when I stopped doing that, man, I had so much peace in my life. And watch this. I kept more money. <laughs> for sure. So I think you can easily get to 10000 by the end of the year, man, by, by October. That's only $750 a month. I think you, you can aggressively get there, but I, I definitely want to make sure that I retract what I said. Date, you're young, man. Get, get you, a, get you, a, get you a, a beautiful woman. Get you a good sister uh, because I do believe that we obtain favor from the Lord when we find the one. And I think the one could even help you get to the $10,000 quicker. Oh, oh, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll be like, okay, I got you. Like, I'm going to hold you accountable. We're going to pray for this. We're going to work this thing together. Right, yeah. That's you know? And so the right one can definitely come and do that thing, man. So I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Appreciate that. Before I, before you let me go, uh, yeah. what book are you reading right now? So what book am I reading right now? Honestly, I'm not reading a book because I'm writing a book. <laughs> Okay. And so right now, I've really been focused on uh, just trying to get myself situated. Uh, so I'm really I'm at the point to where it's like now I'm just trying to I'm trying to write more content. And so this month and last month, um, I have really been focused on just writing more content for you all. I'll pick back up reading uh, next month. But a book that I would definitely recommend for you, for you, um, is... Uh, what say it in my ear, you guys? What was the book of the month last month? My boy Ollie's book. Yes, do good productivity. So you were talking about how to be more productive with your time. Do good productivity is is a real good book that I did read in January. It's phenomenal. One, one of my good friends, Ollie, um, who was an amazing YouTuber, has like five million YouTube uh, subscribers. That's a great book, bro. That would really teach you how to be productive uh, with your life and with your day. So that's the book that I would recommend for you right now. Thank you, sir. No problem at all, man. Praying for you, bro.